Hello and welcome to another blog highlight video. I'm Isaiah with Cheeky Scientist. This week's blog is titled, Five Ways PhDs Ruin Salary Negotiations and End Up Getting Paid Less Than They Are Worth. This is a very common thing. As a PhD, you have likely been in academia your whole life and paid a very low-level stipend or a low-level postdoctoral fellowship. Now, to be clear, these are both training positions, so you're not actually receiving a salary. But employers will try to anchor you low because you're used to being paid low and pay you less than you're worth. You can't look down on them or be upset at them for this. It's just part of the negotiation process. Um, every side wants to get the most value they can uh, in exchange for the value that they're, that they're giving. So instead of worrying about upsetting an employer or not negotiating, uh, instead of being desperate and accepting any offer uh, that you're given, uh, you need to think carefully about the negotiation process before you engage with an employer. Because the negotiation process starts at the very beginning of the job search process. If you've uploaded a resume online and you've seen the little box where it asks you to put your desired salary, you know the negotiation process starts at the very beginning. Why else would they be asking that? They're asking it so that they can use that number against you later um, when it's time to give you a, a salary uh, offer. Okay, so it's very important that you follow these steps. Uh, for example, giving a verbal yes is always a mistake. Never agree. You will have employers ask you point blank, if we offered you this, would you say yes? Very tough position to be in, it, it seems like, if you're not prepared for it. Um, but it's, it's very easy. Um, you can say, you know, I'm very excited uh, by that number. I think we're very close. I'm looking forward to seeing the offer on paper so I can consider it at home. Okay, crucial scripts like that are in this blog article. Uh, so make sure you check out the blog, read the other four points. As always, remember your value as a PhD, especially when you're negotiating, and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.